Almost as quickly as they had come, the winds of tyranny disappeared from the land. Faced with the onslaught led by Cao Cao, Dong Zhuo was driven from Luoyang. In his new capital of Chang'an, he soon found himself betrayed and murdered by his retainer Lu Bu. For a time, the land knew peace once more. However, with nobody to rule, this newfound peace was tenuous at best. If only there was a hero who could unite the land. Powerful though he was, Cao Cao was yet one warlord among many. It was then that remnants of the Yellow Turban Army rose up again. They moved from Qing province, looking to assassinate the Viceroy of Yan. Having made a name for himself in the battle against Dong Zhuo, Cao Cao was requested to come to the assistance of Yan province. Hey! This is our turf! What do you think you're doing? Hunting tigers. A lesson, will you? They feed me once, and now I've got to look after their sorry hides. <laughs> hmm. You might be worth the trouble. Our enemy is the Yellow Turbans, though they have no officers of note left. But they still have numbers, and their tenacity must not be underestimated. I was hunting tigers, but I seem to have caught something better. He's strong, and I can vouch for his courage. He'd make a good bodyguard. Very well. He's hired. I'm your bodyguard? Are you sure? Hmm. You come with the highest recommendation. He's your commander. <laughs> yep. You'd better get used to him. Let's go, Dianwei. I am curious to see your ability as my bodyguard. At once, General! Uh... I will draw the enemy's attention. I will need you to come with me. Our lord is in your hands, new recruit. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
surrounded. Yen Wei, now is your chance to prove your mettle. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. I must retreat. This is not the end. All right. Who's next in line? Shao Duan has an eye for talent indeed. You were truly magnificent. It worked. They're on the move. This ought to make things easier for Shao Duan and his men. Amazing! You are a swift and deadly warrior! Carelessness in the ranks of my enemies. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall see. All right. Who's next in line? As if the legendary warriors of old have been brought back to life. Oh, I am no legend, my lord. You appear to be a competent fighter. However, I will not be easily defeated. This place is ours now. Impressive. It is always inspiring to view such talent. Who's 
You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Nothing less from you. So you are my next opponent. I'll crush you like all of the others. All you know. Control the area and begin setting up a defensive perimeter. This place is ours now! Very good. I shall remember your efforts. The balance has been swung in our favor. Finish the job! Retreat! This is not the end! All right! Who's next in line? We will go forth! Smother the enemy until they lose the will to fight! Giant is wreaking havoc in the village. who's been messing up our fields. Ooh. Such incredible strength. Ooh. For my lord, 
I will stand my ground. Oh, oh, right there. like you protecting me. I can afford the odd adventure. My lord, please! Why is it that you fight? For your departed lord? To defeat the Han? We're, we're here because we want to stay alive. We can't live in a war-ravaged land! How, how could you ever understand us? Stop it! Uh, 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 uh. I know that you're suffering inside, but if you steal crops from other people, then they'll suffer too. Y you're right. <laughs> the answer was simple all along. This conflict is caused by the fact that the right people aren't in the right place. All of you, you must set aside your differences and come with me. I will give you all that you desire. Future historians would say this was when Wei's rise to power began. With the rebellion quelled, Cao Cao became the ruler of Yan province. In addition, he welcomed all of the yellow turbans who had surrendered into his ranks. They were named the Jing Province Army and became the main unit of Cao Cao's forces. What was it that these troops from Jing, as well as the people themselves, desired? Knowing the answer, Cao Cao swiftly mobilized his army. Dong Chua's tyranny had left the land surrounding the capital barren and neglected. Cao Cao decided to give these lands to the Qing troops to tend as farmland. Seeing this move, the warlord Yuan Shu immediately understood the threat that Cao Cao would one day become. He mobilized Tao Qian of Shu province, sending him to attack Cao Cao's rear flank. Sensing the impending attack, Cao Cao moved to strike first, dispatching his troops to Shu. Joining him in the march was Shu Chu, who had joined Cao Cao in the previous battle. However, neither Shu Chu nor even Cao Cao himself noticed that behind them was an ominous shadow looming even larger than that of Dong Zhuo himself. 